And we're live. Five, four, three, two, one. Committee on Finance, Tuesday the 9th of February, 2021. Council Member Wyatt. Here. Council Member Bowman. Present. Council Member Nowakowski. Present. Council Member Rivera. Present. Council Member Wingo. Present. Council Member Scanlon. Present. Quorum is present. All right, from the top. Item number one, cash flow report, December 2020. Items open. Items open. Office. Uh, uh, good morning, everyone. Yes, we did uh, file uh, December 2020 cash flow report. We also filed uh, like a summary of bullet points um, in regards to the cash flow report uh, with you guys for the next council meeting. And uh, I did a, a brief summary uh, last week during caucus in regards to key um, cash items on the cash report for the month of December. So if you guys have any questions, um, we're open to answer them. Okay, um, questions, colleagues? <clears throat> okay, uh, it's, this, is, this cash flow report is getting uglier and uglier. What do we owe the school board? Do we owe the school board anything at this point? Uh, as of December, it was like 3.7 million. As of December, 3.7? Correct. And, and, and this is uh, real quick. Uh, I understand your concerns, everyone's concerns in regards to the use of um, using the Board of Education Fund. But one, like we said in the past, it's a joint account. And this is normal. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to nip this in the bud. <laughs> I don't want to hear that again. Zip it. I don't want to hear that. All I want to know is what actions are we taking to address this issue? Now you said we owe three point seven. Now we don't have a we don't have a no more recent number. This is February. We don't have a more updated number. No, because this we're looking at December's cash flow report. December ended on twelve thirty one. Uh, yeah, we filed a report with you guys the second or third week of January. We're just now getting to it. Uh, during this meeting, because today is, is, is the ninth, but we filed it with you last week. We'll have January's cash flow report uh, the middle of this month. Okay. So then, and then we'll see where we're at in regards to as of January 31st, what is owed or what was used by Buffalo on behalf of the Board of Education. Okay. But in the past, prior to pandemic, during the month of December, we've unfortunately, maybe the past two, three years, we've used some of the Board of Education funds primarily due to the large pension payments and uh, capital debt payments the city has been making uh, in the month of December. Okay, um, Ms. Estridge, can you give us an update? What do we? What is the, the administration's um, plan to address these deep holes? Um, I know our payroll is how much per pay payroll? Uh, Jeremy. Um, Payroll runs a little over $7 million per pay period, depending on what type of payouts are coming through. Like December was large because we have um, um, holiday pay for police and fire. Okay. And things any, like enduring. Any uh, plan, so it's about $7.2 7 million every pay period. Any plans to deal with this issue or? Um, kind of as the deputy controller stated, we did have an improved cash flow this month or for December than we thought. Our property taxes came in higher than they thought. Our sales tax is coming in higher. Our sales tax continues to mirror last year's first half of the year, you know, pre-COVID. So we're very comfortable with that. Um, we, we're assuming for the remainder of the year, it'll be at least equal to last year's during the COVID, the worst part of COVID. So that's gonna bring us an extra 10 to $15 million for the year end. Um, the state also, with their budget announcement, is reducing the amount of money that they are taking from us or deferring from us, how they classified it, where in, in June they had taken $19.7 and that was a 20% reduction. They are now talking and saying that they're only going to take a 5% reduction. So for the June, December, and March payment, that'll bring in $24 million. And then for the following June, it's gonna be two and a half percent. 
which will bring in another 17 million. So that's gonna bring in a total of approximately $41 million this year that was not budgeted. But you said June, you didn't say February, March, you said June. I think we, we get a June, December and a March payment. So the June of last year, we're gonna get money back from that approximately 17 million. And then we'll get, so that's really prior year, but that'll come into the current year. And then our June payment for this year. But we, we're showing deficits of 10 million in January, 30 million in February, 15 million in March. How are we dealing with that with payroll? Are we strictly, um, gonna, are we strictly gonna depend on the school board's money? Um, even though that they may have their own issues with coming up with PPE for opening up schools? Uh, we are looking very favorable with uh, federal money right now. You know, there was a budget proposal that went through. So we anticipate having a final number on that probably within, within the next month on how much money we'll be receiving on that. We do continue to watch how many people we're hiring. Um, we're asking all the departments to reduce their overtime, all their purchases, and continue to put a pressure on the departments to do a little bit more with less. Any questions, colleagues? Councilmember Bowman? Uh, Deputy Councilor, I uh, just how Councilmember White was saying with the cash flow report, he was kind of going through, you know, we're 3 million, then 10 million. In February, we're at 30 million. And then in March, we're at 14 million. What's the drop off there? Is that one of those state payments? Is it that control, uh, that? Um, I think primarily this is this is a cash flow report. This is the cash that we're projecting at the time that we created support and ran the numbers where as far as cash activity coming in and coming out. Right. But I think just and I understand you guys' concerns when you're looking at the cash report, you see the negative uh, cash balance on the city side from December, possibly all the way through uh, May of 2021. But just a follow up to what Commissioner Eschrich was stating is that we do we did receive communications uh, from the state they're driving their push to return uh, almost like 95% of what was withheld from the city from June 2020 and also from December 2020. Based off our calculation, uh, that's around 22 to 24 million that hasn't been budgeted. If these numbers come in by March 31st as the communication we received, you won't see a negative cash flow or the city using uh, the Board of Education funding. But we it's just based off the communication we have at this point in time. So until we receive the money in house, we'll continue to report how we think uh, the cash flow will be. But it is good signs, hopefully, that the state do uh, reverse 95% uh, of deferment that they withheld from the uh, from the city. Yeah, what I, I and I know this is a projection. What I was asking specifically is in your projection, you have 30 million in February, and then in March there's 14 million. So there's obviously a drop off. That's one of the expected state payments. Is that what you're saying? No, yeah. our, our projections show that we're going to incur more expenses. We're going to spend more money than we bring in during those two months. So when you look at the cash flow report, we do itemize out, okay, which lines, revenue lines do we feel we like sales tax, uh, property tax. But then we also got to look at the cash disbursements. We know we're going to have a payroll. And if you look at those months, I think the heavy is the payroll uh, supplies and, and, and utilities. I got you. Okay. There is a state payment in March also. To Correct. The city. Yeah. yeah, we got a projected state aid payment of 35 million uh, right. in the month of March. And, and, and like we, the deputy controller um, was saying from the New York State, they are saying that they're going to reconcile all those payments by March 31st. Okay. That's the end of their payment. Yeah. Thank you. And it's something we'll, we'll keep our eye on. Uh, we, we know it's a lot of uh, a back and forth, but based off the, the memo, a communication that we we receive uh that's what the state is uh, the state is looking to do hopefully uh to repay uh the the payment that they the 95 percent of what they withheld from us in um uh, june 2020 and also uh march 2021 i mean what's, uh, the, what's the number of what they held so far what's the number the total amount that they've withheld uh, in the month, uh, I had a spreadsheet. I don't have it in front of me right now. And in June 2020, I believe, they, like Commissioner said, they were help, they withheld uh, 19.7 million. Out of that 19.7 million, they're going to give us back 95% of that. 
And then in the month of December, 2020, they withheld 3.8 3. 8. Yeah, yeah, 3.8 million. So that will give us 95% of that. If you take those two amounts, we're looking at between 22 to 24 million that we're expecting uh, to receive from the state. We won't show it on our cash flow report until we actually receive it. Okay. I noticed on the cash flow that you put in projected the 65 million federal stimulus for June, as well as you're putting in 11 million for its tribal compact, we're putting that back on the table? Well, we've always had it there in the month of June. The reason why we put it in June, because it was budgeted for. We don't know which, at the time, we didn't know which month uh, possibly uh, that money was coming in. So we, we preferred to show it in June. So basically give uh, the federal government and the Seneca's uh, the full entire fiscal year. If it come in before, okay, if not, then we have, we have our concerns. But right now we're just anticipating, hoping at least come in by the last month of the fiscal year. Okay, have we had any conversation to give us any type of um, insight that that is possible? Because I'm sure they're hurting just as well as every, every other individual. And of course, is that, well, first in regards to uh, the stimulus, and, and like I said, this is all, we know just as so much as you guys know. Um, in regards to federal stimulus, we know uh, the federal government uh, is working to hopefully getting something out, uh, a third stimulus package, I believe 1.9 trillion. Um, so we're waiting to see how much will possibly be allotted uh, to uh, states, municipalities and, and cities. And then uh, the second item as far as the Seneca's, we, I know there was an article and it was hard to go off an article, uh, but based off an article, um, I believe a couple of weeks ago that was published is that the uh, Coma administration along with the Senecas are looking to have some type of settlement, hopefully in a new agreement by 2023. So hopefully uh, this is resolved possibly uh, this fiscal year, or maybe next fiscal year. But like I said, we, we, we're projecting hopefully to have these funds by the end of June uh, 2020, 2021. So, so if you say you saw a documentation that said they hope to have it resolved by 2023 and this is 2021, does it make sense to put it on this, this cash flow? Uh, this is on here because it was budgeted for in this current fiscal year. This 11 million has been posted on our cash report since uh, July 2020. So but, this is but, not new. We've always showed it in the last month of the fiscal year. But this is a projection. And if Correct. you got new information, you can revise it to have it more suited with the information that we currently have, as opposed to leaving information that if you have other information that says, hey, we might have a plan by 2023, this is 2021, even though we put it on there, doesn't mean that we have to leave it on there because it was put on there. It's, it's, it's our information is a newspaper article. So we wanna go off a newspaper article. So we'll continue to leave it on here because it's budgeted for it. We're not reporting as if we received it. It's just more like here, what we, we projecting or we budgeted that we're gonna receive 11 million, just like the 65 million. Ms. Estridge, what do, where are we with these uh, the traffic violations? I know, um, where, where, where's those numbers? What are we, where are we looking at as far as that goes? The school zone cameras, where's those numbers being followed? We, how much have we um, ticketed so far and brought in? We've brought in about a million and a half right now. Is that from the beginning? From yeah, it would be from um, July, you know, our yeah. fiscal year. Okay. Do you, are you aware if we refunded everyone the money back that was owed it? I believe all that has been uh, refunded. Okay. Do we have any documentation to say that? Um, I believe Parking has gotten a list of everything that has been refunded. I mean, we can get that and confirm it. Can we please get that? Sure. Thank you. Any other questions, colleagues? Mr. Chair. Mr. Scanlon. Um, yeah, a question for Delano and or um, Commissioner Estrich. Once we once the state reconciles that 95% of what they withheld, is that going to go towards repaying what we borrowed? Okay. Well, I'll speak first. Um, I think first we would use that money to help close out the fiscal year, and then any money over and above that was needed to close out the fiscal year would help to repay the borrowing. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, uh, Councilmember Nowakowski. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Just to piggyback off of Councilmember Scanlon's question, uh, Commissioner Estridge, does 
any money that we receive until June, will it be used to close out the fiscal year? And then after we satisfy those needs, will we then uh, go on to paying our capital debts? Then it would fall to fund balance, yes. And then it would move into capital debt. Thank you. Okay. Um, motion to table. Motion to table. Seconded by Council Member Bowman. Okay, next item. Item number two, bond resolution, Broderick Park Public Art. Items open. Okay, this item is open. Now, do we have to approve these today or do we let them age? No, we, we, we hope we will hope that you guys will approve them because we're looking to go to market um, in um, April. But this is part of the process for the Common Council to approve uh, yeah. these resolutions. Yeah. Okay, let me let me ask a question. Corporation Council, we normally bring these forward. Do we let them age now or do we still do we have to approve them now? Is Corporation Council on? Hello. Mm. This is uh, Greg Mansky. So normally they get sent to the finance committee and then the next council meeting they would be approved. Okay, I, I was it. just... I was just asking a question of our corporation council. I'm just trying to figure out, do we have a corporation council to answer my question? That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Greg. Um, question on <clears throat> Mr. Finn. Mr. Finn. Yes, sir. Where are the bond, what is, where's the bond information for the speed humps? Which one is that? Citywide infrastructure, which I think they, they gave it a little bit of a different title this year. So it's actually highway in, hi, highway bridge infrastructure on city roads. It's it's item 12 on this committee meeting. So we we're going to have this this year. We're going to get speed humps this year. Yes. We're not dealing with the same company that bailed on us last year, are we? I'm still working with that, but regardless of who we're dealing with, someone's going to build them. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, um, with this note, any other questions? Oh, Councilmember Bowman? I just have a question, probably for Commissioner Finn. Are there more uh, bond resolutions that come um, as far as you expect submitting more? I know they're going to market in April. Um, but specifically, I was hoping uh, there were some capital funds uh, years ago dedicated for the library. I'd really like to get that rolling. Um, are there more projects that you'll be submitting through the council for approval? Uh, well, first, the, it's the comptroller's office that submits the bond resolutions. They use information that we provide to them. Um, but as far as uh, more expectations, I'd, I'd like to talk with you offline about specifically what you're uh, looking for. Um, we worked off of the capital budget that was approved in December and all of the projects that are ready to be sold in April are included. Uh, there are some authorized and issues out for the future uh, that we're still working through, but those aren't as time sensitive as what needs to be sold in April. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk with you online because I definitely want to get that uh, the Mead library that's been in the in works for a while. But OK, thank you. I'll, I'll reach out to you. Thank you. Any other Thanks. questions, Kelly? Mm -hmm. oh, Councilmember Nowakowski. Just uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Just a quick question for Commissioner Finn. So uh, the council will move Wait. next week to approve Class. all these bond resolutions, um, and then when do we start? Like, I have a, a park resolution uh, or a bond resolution in there for Hank Noah Park. When do I then begin uh, starting to plan those park improvements? Well, it's. Um... It's, it's DPW that, that plans the park improvements. I think uh, you, you, you know that, but that's, you know, when we can actually start spending money is after the bonds are sold in May. So it depends on what the specific improvements are as to whether we can do work in house before we get money or if we need to hire a consultant. Um, and what I would recommend uh, for this specifically, uh, consult with uh, Deputy Commissioner Rab uh, about the timeline for Hank Nowak Park. 
Um, and any other council member who has a specific question on a specific project, uh, work with me uh, and our, our deputy commissioners who are uh, undertaking that, that project. Thank you very much, Commissioner. And any other questions? Okay, so the motion is to approve. Motion to approve, uh, go back to the agenda. The bond resolutions, let's see, that's uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, all the way up to twenty seven. Motion to approve uh, two through twenty seven, seconded by Council Member Nowakowski. No further items. No further items. Okay. Motion. Motion to adjourn. Seconded by Council Member Bowman. Second. 